Nigerian authorities are pleading with multinationals in the, in the country not to leave, despite the tough economic conditions that they're having to work in. Now, some of the companies say inflation and a shortage of foreign currency, especially the American dollar, and that has existed for years, have made operating in the country a lot more difficult. Among those that have decided to pull out are some leading pharmaceutical firms, and that in turn has led to a sharp rise in the cost of medicine. CGTN's Tessem Akende tells us more. 64-year-old Suleiman Beki takes prescribed medication on a daily basis for high blood pressure. He says it's been challenging trying to pay for it in the last six months. I'm a retiree and my pension isn't much. I'm ashamed of saying it, but the amount I've brought to pay for drugs here isn't enough because the prices have doubled. The clinic owners have given them to me out of trust because they've known me for years. I will pay in three installments. Online data platform Naira Metrics says the price of some drugs have soared by over 1,000 percent since August. Analysts say rising inflation, a shortage of foreign exchange, and dependence on importation are some of the reasons pharmaceutical companies all live in Nigeria. High cost of exchange rate, uh, the cost of them bringing the product into the country is high as well, alongside with increase in price price, which is affecting every. Uh, other products within this uh, country. In August, the UK-based pharmaceutical company GlaxoSmithKline announced its withdrawal from the country to consider other favorable options. Last month, a French pharmaceutical multinational, Sanofi, also announced its exit from Nigeria. Both companies are turning to third-party distributors to handle their commercial portfolio of medicines and vaccines. They say the lack of currency access to Nigeria is making it impossible to provide a consistent supply. The companies are among at least five multinationals that have wound up operations in Nigeria in the last 10 months. Healthcare experts say the surge in prices of medication poses risk to healthcare provision in the country. When a patient is not able to procure due to adverse economic situation, that will result in either the patients keeping taking the drugs and when you are skipping your drugs, you should know that your health will deteriorate. And when it deteriorates, it will result in further complication. President Bola Tinubu says his administration is trying to address concerns raised by businesses by streamlining taxation and improving power supply, among other measures. He has urged multinational companies not to leave, promising them a better business environment. But restoring business confidence will not be easy, given the challenges that many foreign companies still face. Tassim Akendi, CGTN Jewels.